Welcome to a series of lessons that will explain how to determine whether an infinite series converges or diverges. In this video, we'll be looking at the nth term divergent test. So let's take a look at our first example. We want to determine if the series converges or diverges and then state the test used. We'll start by checking to see if the nth term approaches zero. If it doesn't approach zero, then the series diverges or is divergent. And this is the nth term divergent test. So the nth term divergent test states that if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n doesn't equal zero, then the series is divergent. Where a sub n is the formula used to determine the terms in the series. Now one thing to notice here is that if this limit does equal zero, it does not mean the series is convergent. If this limit is zero, the series can be convergent or divergent, so then we use another test. But if this limit doesn't equal zero, we can conclude the series is divergent. So let's start by applying the nth term divergent test. We would have the limit as n approaches infinity of the quantity n plus four divided by the quantity four n minus five. Now there are several ways to determine this limit. The shortcut method is to recognize that the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same. They're both degree one, and therefore this limit would be equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients. And since n is equal to one n, the ratio of the leading coefficients would just be one-fourth. And since one-fourth doesn't equal zero, we can conclude that this infinite series diverges or is divergent. Now if you're not convinced about this shortcut method to determine this limit, another method would be to divide the numerator and denominator by the highest power of n in the denominator. So in this case, we would divide every term by n. So let's go ahead and show that as well. We'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of n divided by n plus four divided by n over four n divided by n minus five divided by n. Now if we simplify this, we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity. This would just be one plus four over n. And the denominator would just be four minus five divided by n. We'll notice that four divided by n approaches zero as n approaches infinity, and so does five divided by n leaving us with the limit of just one-fourth, which are not affected by n. And again, this doesn't equal zero. So our conclusion is, by the nth term divergent test, the infinite series diverges. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, the question is the same, so again, we'll start by checking to determine if the nth term approaches zero. So we want to find the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, which is three to the power of n divided by seven n squared minus five. Now in this case, notice as n approaches infinity, both the numerator and denominator approach infinity, which is an indeterminate form, so to help us find this limit, we can apply L'Hopital's rule, which means this limit is equal to the limit of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. So this would give us the limit as n approaches infinity. Now the derivative of three raised to the power of n with respect to n, we can find using this formula here. So we'd have natural log three times three to the power of n. We don't have to apply the chain rule because the derivative of n with respect to n would just be one. And now the derivative of seven n to the second minus five would just be 14 n. But it's in this form, again, both the numerator and denominator approach infinity, so now we'll apply L'Hopital's rule again. So this would be equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. So natural log three is a constant. 
and then the derivative of three to the n is again natural log three times three to the n, and the derivative of fourteen n is just fourteen. We'll notice in this case, finally our denominator is a constant, but the numerator that contains n would approach infinity as n approaches infinity, and therefore this limit is approaching positive infinity, which does not exist, and of course is not equal to zero. And therefore, by the nth term divergent test, the given series diverges. So just remember, after applying a test to determine whether an infinite series converges or diverges, it's important that we state the outcome as well as state the test used to determine our conclusion. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, this is just the first lesson of several lessons whether an infinite series converges or diverges. I hope this was helpful.